Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor channel. Here at our channel we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. Today we will talk about Tortoise Acquisition Corporation traded at New York Stock Exchange, ticker name SHLL. Well, SHLL uh, is a stock that attracted a lot of attention in uh, recent days because it made uh, it has made enormous volatility and um, seems like return formation from um, let's say five trading session ago from 35 area towards a 50 plus area but now seems like this upward trend is finished and further decline is possible so therefore there are many bearish uh, signals analysis uh, advices are given as well as by us and uh, this though opens very interesting buy opportunities if you know where to do it so let's uh, to understand this let's do a further analysis for uh, tortoise acquisition um, starting from actually um, 20th of June, uh, it went really high upwards with a very nice and strong uh, upwards trend with two huge waves actually. And uh, let's call it uh, trend one. The trend started indeed on uh, 20th of June and then it went with double wave with acceleration. Uh, before the uh, beginning of July, sending stock to incredible high levels of overbought in RSI. It's above 90, almost 95. This is usually extremely rare case. And even having this double uh, wave on overbought RSI is also inc incredibly ra rare. Uh, you can see here this action also by uh, movement of double wave. But then uh, actually the, the wave was finished and somewhere from middle of 20th of June, the, uh, of course, well expected after this huge uh, upwards movement correction started, which went with volatility, but overall smoothly, slightly uh, standing couple of days starting from middle of July uh, on the moving average 20 here. But by the way, we have three moving averages depicted here on the left, you see there. Uh, Legends, it's moving average 20, 50, and 200, being green, blue, and red lines correspondingly. So, by coming back to the analysis from the middle of July, uh, after sitting a little bit on moving average 20, the further decline started, and then price started actually to go kind of parallel with moving average 50, the blue line here, and uh, going towards the trend one line actually. And when the two moving averages 20 and 50 and trend line one were, were in the vicinity of each other which took place somewhere uh, 20 of August another extreme upwards wave started and then the, the price again went with uh, triple wave in this case also you can uh, note it here by RSI formation so triple wave one two and three uh, and the last wave actually the top of this wave stopped at the beginning of September and then what we see we saw really like a hammering down the, with a huge volatility, huge beating uh, correction movement. So first correction movement was in the beginning of September, incredible down until the, the very first level of support. Here we went uh, to area of 40-ish and then actually uh, there was a rebound. Uh, towards almost the previous maximum somewhere in eight of around 8th of September then another bounce back slight decay happened and then moving average 20 work here as support actually double support so dark, dark support line one and moving average 20 here worked as double support then we had really we were bouncing on moving uh, moving, moving average 20 and then uh, 22nd of September another huge pierce down took place and here trend one line uh, together with moving average 50 actually like a double support and even triple support because the third one comes from the uh, top of um, previous waves uh, sessions uh, worked here as a triple support and then we saw again enormously almost crazy rebounds uh, and uh, f from 30 plus to almost 50 plus area and now of course we see again piercing of moving average 20 and most importantly moving average 20 is starting to not only to decelerate but also going down so uh, heading downwards and willing to form so-called magic cross down though it of course can still um, make a situation like around the dark circle without piercing the moving average 50 here and just sending another wave 
it's still probable, uh, but yeah, it's it will depend on news and actual behavior of the market. What though we can ex expect here and, and play here with is actually the those beating up down uh, rebounds waves. Of course, since the rebounds wave on uh, support line to the second dark line already played, and now uh, moving average 20 is more going and willing to make a magic cross down. So. Uh, you can see also here like a downwards channel is being formed classically like this, which would mean that uh, overall uh, it will be the, 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 the ceiling, the top of rebounds waves. And then it's only question when to rebounds, when to enter. So if you look carefully here, uh, another echelonated line of support uh, will be on these levels. And then another one, of course, will be on these levels. And the last one, which we probably not even face, but still it's a support line here on these levels. So having said that, um, what can we expect here? We always follow the strategy as the safest approach because we don't like casino style. So also we having uh, taking into account that tomorrow is uh, the last trading session of the week. Uh, we can s expect that further uh, the strong volatility will take place here. Also, if you look after hours, um, the stock is actually almost on the level of moving average 20. So sitting here, we can see most probably huge um, uh, doji like candle here. So it's a small body with very big up and downwards um, uh, shadow. So looking something like that, it could be dark, it could be red, uh, doesn't matter. But this kind of behavior, so strong volatility is expected. But overall, uh, it's expected the, the price to go down. And the most safe area will be the second piercing level. So going from S3 levels here, uh, that would be advised to buy to make the first buy on these levels. And of course, if price doesn't hold, then this would be the second buy area. Why that low? Because the stock is known to have those um, very strong yeah, volatility. So uh, this circle area uh, C1 and C2 would be advised to buy. Of course, still uh, in, the, in the area, let's make it um, yellow. In this one yellow circle, there will be an enormous volatility fight between beers and bulls. You can also make your play here if you like. If you are a volatility gamer, but uh, we usually approach the safest way. So if it goes C2, C1, that would be the best way to buy. And always, of course, after even entering at C1, keep some funds for C2 levels because it's always to be safe. Also, if you look at MACD, well, here it's uh, clearly in negative area, making a double, a third wave down, which is positive, meaning that it can reverse any moment. So there is still a strong possibility for rebounds but if you look those enormous volatilities you know it can go either way so better to enter at the safest level so c1 c2 now you you know what to do with tortoise acquisition having said that uh, please also do not forget to subscribe to our channel uh, this way you will note our new videos new interesting discussions about us-based stocks